Hi everyone! The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to get up and running with Julia and Jupyter Notebooks on your system. So to do this, we'll start by showing you how to get Julia running. Once we have Julia running, I'll show you how to get Jupyter Notebooks on your system. And once we have those two both working, I'll show you how to configure your Jupyter Notebooks so that you can actually run Julia from within them. All right, so first off, we want to get Julia up and running. Now to download Julia, I'm going to go to the Julia Lang homepage, and that is at julialang.org. So I'll redirect to julialang.org here. And once we're there, we see that on the menu, we have this downloads option. So we'll go to downloads, and when we scroll down, we see all the available binaries for currently the 0.6 release of Julia. Now today I'm on a Mac, and so I'm going to select the corresponding option, and now my Julia binary is downloading. So now my binary has finished downloading, and I can see that by clicking on this downloads icon and seeing that I now have access to this Julia-0.6.2 uh, DMG file for a Mac. So I'll select that DMG file. And now I have access to this Julia-0.6 icon. Now when I select the icon, my system is first going to prompt me uh, to say whether or not I'm sure I want to open this file. I am sure. And so now I get a Julia REPL. Once I have a Julia REPL, I can run whatever Julia functions I'm interested in from the Julia arrow prompt. So here I'm saying print LN and I'll print hello world. And then that comes to standard out. All right, so now that we have Julia running on our system, we want to get those Jupyter Notebooks up and running. So I'm going to Google Jupyter Download, and now I have this Project Jupyter link that I'll click on. And one of the things that we'll see when we're here is that basically the easiest way to get Jupyter Notebooks running on your system is to download and install an Anaconda distribution. So here we're redirecting to Anaconda's website, and I'm going to decide to now download uh, Anaconda for a Mac. Once Anaconda is done downloading, we need to run the installer. So I'm going to click on this box that I have in the lower right hand corner of my Mac. Okay, so I need to decide to continue. I'm welcomed to the Anaconda 3 installer. I'll continue again. Keep continuing and agreeing wherever prompted. And hit install. Now you have Anaconda installed, which means that you should be able to open up a Jupyter Notebook. I'll show you two different ways to do this. The first way is to open up a terminal. And then when you're at that terminal, you can type Jupyter Notebook. And then a Jupyter Notebook environment will be launched within a browser. And so once we're in this environment, we see that we can go to new to create a new notebook. Now, alternatively, we could have navigated to this environment by finding wherever it is that Anaconda was actually installed on your system. So here I'm inside the applications directory on my computer, and I have this Anaconda navigator icon, which I can select, and that will take me to this environment. Once I'm here, I could choose to click launch, to launch a Jupyter Notebook environment. And again, we're going to pull up a browser that will allow us to open up new Jupyter Notebooks with this new button. Now, one of the things that we see when we're here is that if we try to actually open a new notebook, we only have the option to run notebooks using Python 3. And so our final step needs to be actually tying Julia to Jupyter Notebooks so that we can run Julia code in this environment. This final step involves connecting Julia to our Jupyter Notebooks. Now to do this, we're going to need to use the Julia Package Manager. So once I'm at a Julia REPL like this, I can call the Julia Package Manager with pkg.add, and then inside these parentheses and inside quotation marks, I'm going to add the package called iJulia. So iJulia is what's actually going to allow us to use Julia within a Jupyter Notebook, and this installation will take a few minutes. Now that iJulia has actually installed, we now have the option to open up Jupyter Notebooks again. Here I'm doing so through a terminal. And once our Jupyter Notebook environment has loaded in a browser, we'll see that now if I go to New, I have the option to select Julia 0.6 as my language of choice when I open up that new Jupyter Notebook. 
And we can test that this is working by picking a Julia function like println and testing that hello world will print to standard out. And it works. So everything seems to be working. Uh, I hope this video was useful and thank you so much for watching. Bye.